Nine to five most days, we do the same things that other bankers and other real estate developers do. You've got to make the numbers work. You've got to understand construction, understand risk, how to take an old building and renovate it. But we do it for a different purpose. We all really like the intellectual side of business, but our motivation comes from our hearts. We get to work on projects every day that make people's lives better. We build schools, help educate children. What an amazing opportunity. Historically, kids that attend Morning Joy or schools like Morning Joy do not have a track record of, of making it to college. 87% of our kids qualify for free or reduced lunch. We don't believe that that statistic needs to define our scholars. We're setting a bar that, frankly, a lot of people don't believe is possible for the kids that attend More Enjoy. When I first toured the historic Y.E. Smith building, I immediately fell in love with the bricks, as you often do on these projects. But this project needed to be more than about the bricks. What was it going to do for the community? What use could it be? And it dawned on us, it was a school until 1967, it's been pretty much vacant since. What could it be again? It could be a school to serve this community. A project like this takes a lot of business smarts. It took over three years from start to finish and $10 million to make this project happen. But we have experience doing complex projects like this and we have a dedicated staff who are willing to do something like this when it's for a school like Marine Joy. We know how important good schools are. We do a lot of lending all over the country to high impact public charter schools to help them expand, to help them serve more kids. So this was a chance to combine that experience with our own real estate development experience to do a really high impact project in our community. The architect, Jason Gable, said to me that you can just feel it. This building wants to be a school. You know, you hear a lot of renovations where they're taking a school building, turn it into apartments, but to take a school and bring it back to life. Uh, I think that is, that is truly special. You know, a lot of people said, well, you know, the neighborhood, you know, it's a rough neighborhood, it's this, it's that. But you know what, I think 20 years from now, people are gonna say, wow, those people from Morning Joy were, were really forward thinking. You know, they really believed that about what was possible and believed that, you know, they could serve that neighborhood. One of our challenges was to figure out how to make this school work in the 21st century without eroding all of the things that made it so great in the 20th century. You know, we didn't want to come in and drop ceilings everywhere. We didn't want to come in and run ductwork all over the place. Um, so the, all of that had to be done very carefully. We were able to retain a lot of what was here and or replicate a lot of what was here. Um, so I think the, the thread of the history runs through the building and even these young kids that are going to come to school here, I, I believe they will have a connection with it. Watch that wire. Well, to demolish this building, that's a piece of cake. You, know, you come in with a couple of pieces of heavy machinery and it's gone in a couple of days. To build a new building up is relatively easy, but to do this, uh, it's a whole other mindset. It's almost like you have to think backwards. The new kids that come in here, although they'll have all the modern stuff, they're going to see what it was like in an old classroom, you know, in 1910. And they'll see and be able to touch the stuff that was used 100 years ago. Uh, that's that's kind of neat. Anytime we're developing a project, we like to follow green building practices. So for this school, we added several features. Things like improving energy efficiency and indoor air quality. Having those features makes the building a healthier environment for the kids and teachers. We want to show that green is not just for government-sponsored projects or wealthy institutions. It is also for great nonprofit schools like Marine Joy. One of the things I find really interesting about doing this project is that this building has not been a school since 1967. And 1967 was when Durham went through integration of our schools. So actually when this school opens up in August 2013, it will be the first time that this school building has had non-white students enter this school. So that just is, uh, I think, a really interesting piece of history for this school. Things are changing so rapidly, but history matters. And I think this building is gonna speak to that, and it's gonna speak also to a lot of people who, who really long for schools like this, for schools that have high ceilings and big windows and wood floors and are planted in it, firmly planted in a community. Self-help had a vision of Maureen Joy as not just a school, but a foothold of positive energy in a community. And when I look at this block 
and I see our school now and it's beautiful and it's not a vacant overgrown eyesore. Uh, it's a beautiful new building that's alive with life. I think they're absolutely right. And I think that vision of a school as more than just a school is right on. This school is a landmark for history and it brings beauty and safety to our neighborhood. And I just want to say thanks so much for choosing this community for Marine Joy Charter School, and I really appreciate it. This school teaches us that it doesn't matter where you're from, your race, your background, you can do anything, you have a future. And it's just, I feel really good coming here because every day they just welcome you with a smile and it encouraged me to do my best because sometimes I'm like, Ugh, school, you know, how you get. <laughs> but when you just see their smile and they just start talking about college and your future, it just really inspires you to do your best. So you combine your like terms, AA equals negative level. Good. Look at how many letters are in that word. Tyreek is ready. You know, it's not often in life that you get to work on a project like this. A project with multiple stakeholders uh, and just an incredible impact. We knew what a great school Marine Joy was. And this was an opportunity to grow that school, to give more kids that education. They're going from about 350 kids in their old site to being able to serve over 600 kids in the new building. That's 250 more kids every year they are going to get a wonderful education. And it says to those kids that our community is investing in us. I need to take my education that much more seriously. And it's a place that you feel like you should be doing something important.